Yes, it is. That's nah, Butter doing a good job getting at these low to mid percent of Luigi combos. And then Dark Chat just canceling it out with focus. Yeah, that's kind of what Chat does. Or what Ken does, rather. What I'd personally like to see Butter do is dash attack to break focus. Or that. Or that, yeah. Any multi hit move, really. Because if you don't know, uh, focus will tank one hit, but if it's a multi hit move, it does not tank all of them. So like jabs, um, multi hit moves like uh, Luigi down B or dash attack. See in this situation, I can see Butter trying to go for a down tilt tech trade. What the? What was wow. that? I know that wasn't forward tilt. That was strong forward tilt. Was? Yeah. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting Ken has like medium, strong, and weak hits. They're all great for combo. I personally think Ken's an underrated character. Better than Ryu, in my opinion. Uh. I think that's the consensus is Ken is better than Ryu. Yep, down throw Cyclone. Wow, the Smash 4 classic. Didn't play Smash 4, wouldn't know. Well, um, it was the Smash 4 classic before Luigi got nerfed. Oh. And they actually, they buffed his down throw so that it didn't work anymore. <laughs> Luigi got buffs? What? Ah, uh, you see, now Dark Shad's out of the zero death percentage. It works up to about 7.5%. Okay, I was wondering what percent it worked up to, because I know it was really low. So characters like Ken, Krom, Roy, you need to build at least 6-7% to 7 before it takes off the top on like higher stages like Town & City or Kalos. Town & City is the lowest hit, though. Town & City is? Yeah. I thought it was one of the higher yeah. ones. Yeah, no, Town & City has one of the... I thought it had low, like, horizontal blast zones. Uh, it does. It also has the lowest ceiling of any legal stage. You know she's still Yes. Whoa. Oh, wow. And, Dark Shack uh, converting. I'm pretty sure it has the biggest uh, bottom, I want to say. Fascinating. Like, like the, the bottom blast of the like, ledge is the biggest. It might it might be like two or three, but I want to say it's up there. I speed the Cyclone. And going to focus through the one hit that would have got him into the actual Cyclone. You know, I'm surprised that Butter didn't convert that Nair into another Cyclone. And he just spot dodge, yeah. What? Oh, okay. I was about to say, how did he not get hit by it? Um, yeah, the back hit of Luigi's down smash is actually stronger than the front hit. That's the case for most down smashes, I'm pretty sure. Because yeah. I know that's true with Ikes and Roy's and Lucina's. <laughs> just sit there and take two of the Duke's. Yep. <laughs> I mean, this oh, he tried to the... parry it, that's what. I mean, it seems to be... Uh, Dark Shad's kind of game plan right now is to sit back at Duke Yeah, he really doesn't want to get hit. He doesn't have to approach if he doesn't want to. He's, he's at the percent advantage. But Luigi can be so explosive. Yeah, just one hit, one grab is all you need. At the same time, one Ken. Op one opportunity. Ken can be explosive as well with all of his tilts and everything, just canceling into specials. Oh, that was a beautiful carry on that up tilt. Allowed him to get, uh, t get out of uh, disadvantage. Butter has shown that he's consistent with parrying and actually pretty decent. Like converting off of parry. Yeah, the hardest part about parrying is converting off of it. Yes. I wonder if that was a misinput from Dark Shadow. No. He, um, he, that, those are always on purpose. And that'll shield poke, yep. So, Butter, if you go back and watch this, what you want to do there is actually tilt your shield up in that situation. I knew I'd win. Yeah, um, like I was saying, um, Shad knows the, the different inputs for light and heavy Hadouken. So when you see him do like the light Hadouken like that, he knows like it's not the the full Hadouken isn't gonna come isn't gonna heavy Hadouken isn't gonna, not Hadouken, what am I saying? Sure you can isn't gonna connect all the way. Or he's gonna they're gonna fall out, so that's why he does the light one. But uh unfortunate it didn't kill though. I wonder why Dark Shad's allowed to be the tank and not Shulk. Um, probably because Shulk has like crap frame data. 
Oh, and you know what? He did kind of uh, lose at Shulk earlier, and he's not too happy about it. So yeah, because Shulk is good, Shulk but like if you death. can if you can just get in and outframe data him, uh, you're you're golden. Like because he he only has so much shield. Part to use. What Butter did during that uh, almost zero death conversion was he fast fell too late or uh, fast fell too much to get the up. Darshad's so good dancing around with the shield because we all know you don't want to touch the Luigi shield on the upper half. That's just begging for another yeah, <laughs> Weak into heavy up tilt. Interesting. <laughs> you see, FD is a pretty good so this should get down to side first. You see, in that situation, I still think Butter could have gone for another side first and negate focus. I mean, sure, it was stale, but he was already up in the air. Yeah. Did you get back there? Yep, that's gonna yep. kill. Smash more classic. <laughs> I don't actually remember if Luigi's back throw killed in Smash 4. Oh, that's just what everyone tells me up at the Ohio University scene is when I back throw someone, it's a Smash 4 classic. Yeah, back, back, throw, ki back throw killing is the Smash 4 classic. Uh, <laughs> Dang, oh my 40 for gosh. Wow. Here's the zero to death. Falling up there. Oh, oh no. Again. Probably the going. tournament nerves coming up here. I don't know, we had a discussion about this earlier, me and uh, Butter, and he, I was the one saying that I had tournament nerves. He's saying, hey, you just gotta combat it. You know, after you do it a bunch, you just know it. Dash check off of Zare. Zare puts you in so much in line. Oh, he did not mean to focus there, I don't think. Yeah, or if, or if he did, he meant to focus dash. Dash, yeah. Yeah, and then he just didn't get the dash. That should kill. Wow. Uh, Shad being like, okay, I asked you, time to, time to make this even again. Third time's the charm with the Uppy, or with the zero death. No, oh, still wow. flubbing okay. on the same uh, same input. Butter probably beating himself up. That's a whole three stocks. Yeah, really That's is. a whole game he just dropped right there. And this should be a down throw cycle. I think he should have pummeled him no. a couple more times, yeah. Ken's pretty heavy. Yeah, he's a thick boy. All that muscle weighs something. <laughs> that, oh, gi no. that gi is just for show, though. Oh, no. that was poor DI. Oh, no, okay. yeah. yeah. That should not have killed, especially with it being stale. Oh, crap. I forgot to change the scores. Uh, <laughs> Both on their tournament stop. This is such a surprising loser semi to see. Yeah, usually it's... Uh, Darkshad doesn't... Darkshad usually gets out if he does get out at, like, winner finals yeah. against Doorstop. But uh, TCMK actually knocked him out of winner side bracket. Which was like one of TC's biggest upsets. I think he's had an ultimate right now. Nice, good for TC. Yeah. I wonder, is he one that goes back and watches his videos? Uh, yeah. I, I, I can't foresee why he wouldn't. Especially to see like how you want him, why you want specifically. Yeah. He he takes so many notes. Like if you see him, he has like he has the, his notebook. I he, saw. He has his notebook, and it is filled with notes. This man is going to class. Game three. Loser semis. Let's get down to it. All right. Let's see if Butter can eliminate Dark Shad. This is an interesting counter pick, actually, coming from uh, Dark Shad, I think. I, I feel like the stage is pretty neutral in general. So I wonder why he didn't go to like a 10 favorite stage. Um, probably because it would also kind of be a Luigi favorite stage. Yeah, they both rely off vertical kills. Or at least go to like Kalos or something with a high ceiling. He might have banned Kalos. I don't know what the bans were, so I couldn't tell you, but... Down throw cycle. He picked him wow. up from so low. Gosh, that win box is incredible. I mean, not fair. <laughs> Alright, he is looking for this grab. Shad is not going to give it to him, though. I still think Battlefield's one of those ceilings that you need to do a couple percent before you can actually do the combo. Especially with him being one big boy. That is very true. Although, doing less than 7.5% is kind of rough. He's got rough. rage, though. Oh, that's true. Got rage. Alright, he got... A bear, come on. There it is. Yep. And it's going to kill! Yep, yep. Definitely the rage helping out there. 
Oh, that was such a good kind of wave in the back. And oh my gosh, yeah. Oh that. my goodness. He good lived DI. that at 130? Good DI. Coming that was a great fire. misfire right there. Exactly with the Dr. Or. Yeah, Dark Shot's going to be smart and, roll, and tech roll out every single situation here. You can't afford to tech roll in. Now he's kind of playing Blitzy, honestly. There's the. Oh, he was so close to getting the jab block. Auto turnaround can be so useful for Shadows. It really can. Yeah. But it can also be, like, really unhelpful. Oh, I think you should have gone up there with the Cyclone. Oh, uh, that might have been. Down to the Cyclone, Max Rage. That's gonna be it. Max Rage, yep. And Butter gonna take out Dark Shad 2 1. Sending him out of bracket and himself into losers finals. Facing. I have no idea yet. Actually, no, it would be. Gosh, who was it? It wasn't TC, was it? Mm, it might. Yeah, I think it I was think TC. It, is it the rematch? The grudge match? Wait, TC versus Butter? Yeah. Oh, I TC didn't know. I did, losers. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh well, we're uh, coming into a rematch then.